here, by this grace. In this video, I'm going to talk about something I have been thinking a lot about lately. And one of the things is I didn't make a video. I don't know if I'm going to put it up. And at the end of the video, my, um, my phone got hot. You know, it's sitting on the windshield here. And that's what I do my videos on. And it got the battery got hot. It's not the first time that's ever happened to me. And uh, speaking of which, if you hear a beep, it's because I'm plugging, plugging it up. <laughs> anyway, um, but it was about, you know, what I've felt like there's something missing lately. And, um, and it, for me, it, I did a long video about it, but it was basically, um, you know, putting everything in chronological order. Because I was a career student, remember? And the things that, you know, I had to study, unbelievable. Um, you know, to get a master's degree, and I worked on a PhD. I uh, got burnt out by the time I worked on the PhD because I had so many hours already. <laughs> anyway, um, but for me, it was chrono chronological order of the things of what's, what was going on way back. You know, starting with the Bible and what was, you know, because you read the stories and you, you know there were other nations, what was going on there, what was their thought of the day. So I've gone from, I'm reading this one book called um, The Story. I don't know who wrote it, but it takes the Bible New Testament, Old Testament, and New Testament, and puts it into stories. And I got to the, the point where it was about the um, to go into Jesus, and then I stopped there because it was 400 years, according to this book. It was about 400 years when they don't have anything. Well, so I had other books, and I ordered some books, but this other book I had was on Plato, and uh, it starts around that time. Okay. So that was in Athens, and um, this talks about Athens and Sparta and so on. Um, I haven't read but just a few pages of it. Now, I had it for years, and I had read just a few, so I don't even know if I remember everything that I'd read, just some of it. So uh, I re had read some of it, and now I'm starting it from the beginning. Anyway, but something, you know, is missing is, is all that. Um, but overall, what it led me to eventually was how... With everything going on these days, I, I really think that no matter what side you're on, um, you would see that some of it is a lack of education. You know, of everyday conversation being something that people have to think past, you know, what is the new kind of phone or new kind of technology that's out that they want, you know, want and how it works. You know, there are other things that, you know, people can think about and, you uh, we're just not there anymore. It used to be that people had discussions on things beyond the, the latest, like I said, the latest technology. You know, things about philosophy, psychology, sociology, all these kinds of things. You know, theology, you know, their religion. They actually had conversations about them. What do people have conversations about these days? But overall, it made me think of, you know, how there's a lack of education. We're, we're not raised with it as much. You know, you go to school, you study, you know, and that's basically, you know, you have to take your classes in school, so you study for those classes. But who thinks outside of that and goes outside of the school and talks about stuff like that, you know? Okay, now, I taught sociology both college and university, and it, with the, one of the universities, the university I talked, uh, spoke, I taught, <laughs> I'll get out in a minute. I taught, uh, I can't remember what class it was in. I don't know, it might have been an intro class. Um, some of my students, they weren't trying to get an A. They already had an A, and they earned it. Believe me, in my classes, they earned it. But um, she she made a comment that the things that I said in the class, that she went home and they, you know, when her friends come over and family members and everything, but they had conversations about it. You know, I just now thought of that while making this video. I remember that. But, yeah, you know, and I remember thinking back then that it kind of took me off, you know, like I was off, I don't know, surprising. You know, not really off guard, but surprising a bit. Um, because it's not my experience these days that people do that. You know, have conversations, sit around the table, talk about things, discuss issues, you know. Yeah, they're too much, you know, and now so much information as it is, you know, people think, okay, if I have a question, I don't go and ask an elder or, you know, somebody who might know. I just look online and there it is. Well, that's not always the best thing. I think many of us know that because a lot of the stuff, you know, I've seen, definitely have seen 
was a bunch of BS. Okay, it wasn't what it was supposed to be <laughs> online. Some one particular place, and now it's improved quite a bit, but I would never let my students use it. Uh uh, that's not a reference. No. Okay, but anyway, I, what I've started to talk about on this video is, you know, that either side, you know, there's more than one side of people, you know, thinking it's a lack of education, especially my experiences lately. That guy's looking at me, thinking I'm talking to him. <laughs> but, uh, but my experiences lately, is that you know if you talk if you say anything about about it or even hint at it they're going or just flat out people just talking about it that maybe even on TV is that it's the, always the other side that's not that lacks the education you know lacks the understanding lacks the reasoning the logic the whatever it's always the other side no matter which side you're on it's always the other side you know uh uh both sides need it that's in my opinion both sides, all sides need more education, needs more understanding of what's going on in the world, why it's going on, and, and what to, how to think about it. To actually think about it and not just accept it because the family, you know, your, your parents or your grandparents or, you know, their parents, their grandparents, somebody you know, said that's how you're supposed to think. You know, and I, and I was, was thinking about that yesterday and I started reading that, play, that book on Plato and that's part of what it says. <laughs> You know, that they went beyond saying, um, you know, you should just, Socrates, Socrates said that, you know, go beyond what just what you were told to think. And I don't think people even do that these days. When I was teaching that class, I actually asked my students, you know, do you, the, the short version would be this, do you let the media tell you what to think or do you think for yourself? And they were so proud to tell me that they let the media tell them what to think. Oh my goodness. <laughs> By the end of the class, some of them um, were saying, you made us think. <laughs> oh, you bet I did. Yeah. Yeah, and that was in that same, that one same class. Yeah, they were very vocal. Yeah, I made them very vocal. <laughs> but anyway, um, now it's also thinking, you know, about, like I said, it's not like our everyday conversation. And some subjects have become taboo. You know, I remember since I was a child, these subjects don't need to be taboo. But was, um, let's see, religion, politics, and sex. Okay, you're not supposed to talk about those. You know, I heard that since I was a kid. And the reason they said not to is because people have fights. Well, you know what, people, you know, they're getting fights about it, arguments. And yeah, you don't want to, you know, put yourself in danger if it's some kind of person who's hostile like that might, or might become. You, you never know these days. But yeah, you know, those should never have been t made taboo. Uh, like you can't talk about them, you know. But the the one of the problems is people don't understand how to agree to disagree. Yeah, you know, that's been something going around for a long time now. People saying that um, it was a, like a buzzword. What were what was a buzz phrase? You know? I mean, buzzword was a buzzword too. But yeah, you know, to you know learn how to agree to disagree. If you're on one side of the fence and the other one's on another side of the fence. And y'all disagree, you know, on something. And my experience is, if one of the, one side is not going to say that. One side is not going to agree to disagree. That's when you just walk away. <laughs> you know, to my, I'm not giving any advice or anything. But yeah, that's how I feel. That's when you walk away. If they're not going to willing to agree to disagree, just walk away. You know, don't don't have any contact. That person's not worth, you know, worth the trouble. If that's how they're going to be. In my opinion, one side doesn't fit all. You know, that kind of situation can be dangerous. All that. That's another part of it is people, you know, you know, people think the way they do that, that this is another thing people need to learn besides agree to disagree is that people think the way they do because of their own experiences in life. You know, it could be that they they just follow whatever their parents and grandparents and so on said to do, but a lot of it is their own experiences in life and you're not gonna change those those experiences for them. You know, so you need so to learn to agree to disagree. But also, what pe enough people, especially these days, and I have a problem, I have a problem, I have yeah, a problem with, is controlling your temper when somebody is, you know, d uh, disagrees with you. And it does, of course, depend on how they're disagreeing with you, you know, if they're getting hostile and stuff. I, I'm, I'm more these days, you know, if somebody, and it's been for years, 
somebody, you know, gets hostile with it, I, I just stop talking to them, you know, really, seriously, and walk away, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, but um, really, and another thing, I did a video on this on my one of my channels. It's about, um, you know, that they took out of the schools back in the early 2000s, I believe, at least here in Texas. They took out, you, you used to be able to get a teaching certification for sociology or te teaching certification for uh, psychology and teach it in schools, you know, high schools mainly. And they took that out. They, there was, you know, I think it was like 2002 that I noticed it, that, yeah, you couldn't get the teaching certification anymore, and I called around, they said, well, we don't teach it anymore. There might be one class. Well, that is a big, big, big mistake. You know, people need to know about how the world works, you know, how other people think and stuff like that. So, you know, and that, that teaches a lot about things that are so very important that, you know, kids need to grow up hearing and learning and discussing and thinking about yeah okay that guy was liked being on camera you think <laughs> of course I don't think that way he was collecting baskets it's baskets do you call them baskets or do you call them shopping carts what do you what do you call them where you live we call them both but anyway so now that I've gotten kind of silly and got a squirrel moment in um, I'm gonna wrap this video up and leave your comments below what you think if you would um, if you want to if you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you want to watch another video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you would. And I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.